Here we have a new 2024 GMC Hummer EV. Now this one is a 3X model. So we get those three electric motors. And then this one is also an Omega edition. So it's like a $24,000 package, but you get this beautiful Neptune blue matte paint. And then we have the Lunar Horizon interior. But this sticker's for almost, well, it's over $140,000. So we're gonna see what you get here as we come around to the front end. We get our LED daytime running lights and LED headlamps. And the daytime running lights don't flash like that. That's just how my camera's picking them up. But love just how aggressive yet sophisticated this front end looks. This one also has the extreme off-road package. So definitely a, a nice model here. Get these 18-inch custom gloss black wheels. I should say these are specific for the Omega Edition. Passive keyless entry on all four doors. Power door locks, memory seat functions, power windows. We have electronic rear window and door locks. And then we have power folding side mirrors with blind spot monitors in them. Love the two-tone interior. Bose sound system. Electronic parking brake here. We can open the front from here. So you just push it one time to open and then you hold it down to close it. Lane departure, etc. Power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. And there's the power driver's seat with four-way power lumbar support. And with this Omega Edition, we also get the transparent roof panels. But love the look of the interior. Now, if you're interested, this can tow up to 7,500 pounds. That will, of course, diminish your range, but it's able to do so. Have that seat up front adjusted for someone of my size being 6'3 with longer legs. But before we check out the rear seat room, big shout out to... GMC of Murfreesboro for allowing me to review this Hummer today. I'll leave a link below in the description. And then if you're trying to find one closer to your location, make sure you check out the link below and you can go ahead and get your local dealers fighting to give you that best price there. But Omega Edition 23, 355. Again, it includes the infinity roof panels, black emblems, etc. And then you get that extreme off-road package as well. So $142.95 for that sticker price. And then this one has a range on a max charge of 298 miles. Let's go ahead and check out this rear seat room. So very good space back here. It's not as good as let's say like a, a Sierra, a full size pickup truck, but still very, very good space. And your rear AC controls are here. You get a three-prong household plug-in down there, USB-C, USB-A charge port. And I like that we get one of each instead of having two USB-A's or two USB-C's. Three-stage heated outboard seats, auto climate controls. And there's a view of the front from back here. And then another look at those beautiful transparent roof panels. And pretty easy to take off and you can stow them in the trunk if you want to. Bottle holders are here. And then I do have those electronic locks on. So I'm gonna go over here, click that, and then I'll be able to open this door. So as we make our way towards the back, charge ports here, we can get that max up to 350 kilowatt DC fast charge speed with the Ultium battery. So as we come around to the back end here, love how nostalgic the rear end is while also being futuristic at the same time. And we do have that spare right under this cover here. And then to get this rear lift gate to open, you can either press here or use the key fob here. So we're gonna use the button down below. That'll come open. Take a look at the space here. Tons of storage. We, had a, we have another three-prong plug-in. And then you can actually power release your second row as well. You can see the difference, but tons of space back here with both rows up, so pretty nice. And then you can go ahead and just close it back, hit that button there, or use the key fob. You'll just have to hold it when you click the second time. But like that feature a lot. 
And I want to give a big shout out to Chevrolet Buick GMC of Murfreesboro for allowing me to review this Hummer EV SUV today. But as we come around to the back seat on the passenger side, pretty easy to just fold this back into place. And then you can also release from right here on either side as well. And then our front passenger seat, we also get power with four-way power lumbar support there. And pretty big pocket here underneath if you wanna put a handbag or something. And then your glove compartment's there with your owner's manual. Now we're gonna come back around to the front. I'm gonna show you how this trunk works. So we can just hit it twice. And that'll open by itself. And again, you can put your roof panels up here and then your covers are right in here to keep them from scratching. And then you just wanna hit it twice, hold it as it goes down until it's completely shut. But let's go ahead and hop in the driver's seat. So leather F steering wheel here, super cruise indicator, Super Cruise sensor there to make sure you're keeping your eyes on the road. There's a horn. Now over here to the radio, love this screen. We get AM, FM, XM radio, Bluetooth audio, wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto compatibility. We get the Google Maps system. So you wanna have your subscription set up to use that. And then here in your energy, settings you can go ahead and just see how much energy you're using set your charge schedule so on and so forth and then for the settings themselves you can go in here your vehicle settings you can go in here turn team driver on one pedal driving on or off or setting on high and then you have the rear seat reminder buckle to drive your super cruise lane change you can adjust that and a few other settings as well including how to activate that rear lift gate if you want to turn off the power door and one other thing i forgot was you can go down here system settings you can adjust your language there if you want to change that backup camera is there the guidelines follow you as you turn the steering wheel and that just needs to be uh, adjusted there with the cover and then your front camera is there and with this one having the extreme off-road package, of course, you get several different camera views there underneath the vehicle. And then you have, if you have a trailer and things of that nature, you can adjust that too. And then your off-road settings in here, several different viewpoints. You have your aux gauges there. So tons of stuff going on here. Dual zone automatic climate controls are down here below. You can adjust fan speed, fan direction, your auto mode, you can sync, unsync, and then you have your three-stage heated cool front seat. So you hit this button here to turn the seats on, and then you can adjust those as you see fit. And down below, heated steering wheel toggle, your differential locks are there, hazards, traction control, parking sensors, and then you do get the automatic park assist, which is pretty good on this particular vehicle. Wireless charging pad there, USB-A, USB-C port. And then you also can stow that there and then for the shifter press p for park pull down for drive you have the low gear there hold up for neutral push all the way up when your thumbs on that button for reverse and then you do have your launch control here you can turn that on and then you can raise or lower the suspension and then you can turn the crab walk on or off or set it to auto bottle holders are there you can stow those center console cubby space Pretty good size, removable tray is there. And there's a look at the, the very back and you do have a power sliding rear window back there. Your rear camera mirror can be turned on or off there, on star, dome lights, etc. Universal home remotes there. Then you have your drop down vanity mirror and then back to the steering wheel, blinkers, and then your low beams can be adjusted there, auto, so on and so forth. 
and then you do get automatic wipers so we have one time off auto low high you can adjust that auto sensitivity there and then pull up there for the front wiper fluid and it also washes your front camera as well now if you don't have one pedal on you can use this to adjust your regenerative braking and then underneath that you can go through your track list or radio station presets depending on what source you're in there and then volume can be adjusted up or down and you also have your knob here now we do get the full-on super cruise so you can turn the cruise on there and then adjust super cruise there once that's activated everything else pretty normal for your standard cruise adjust speed cancel and then the gap adjust for the forward collision alert as well as the adaptive cruises there voice recognition mute button and then you can use these side arrows as well as the scroll bar to go through your settings on this right side here so i can go through here change my info page option change my units of measurement and then i can have different menus set up here depending on what i'm wanting to see so energy usage suspension travel etc and then you can edit everything right in there so pretty neat trailer brake controller push button start Finally, here's the key fob with remote start. And next, let's go ahead and take this Omega Edition 2024 Hummer EV SUV out on the road for a test drive. So starting the test drive in this Omega Edition Hummer EV, I love having the three motors set up. It just gives you maximum power in terms of acceleration. Now the 2X still feels very good but the 3x again it just takes it to another level but i love the maneuverability of thing of these because even though they're humongous just having the four wheel steering especially at low speeds just comes in i mean this can pull out of a parking spot better than pretty much any other vehicle even though it's much wider much longer than the average car But we're gonna go ahead and get this thing going. Not gonna use the launch control, but I'm just gonna come up here and just nail it. Here we go. And not giving it full throttle, but still, my goodness. It just doesn't feel right getting this thing <laughs> up to speed because it, it feels like a lifted truck when you're driving it. It's so freaking huge. Now I'm gonna try and test out the Super Cruise here just for a, a second, because I have to get off of the next exit. So we'll activate the cruise here, turn on Super Cruise there. And there it is, you have your hands-free driving, so lane centering, as well as your adaptive cruise. And there's some plastic or something outside making a sound so that's what that is wind noise actually isn't that bad today because it's not really windy out but these transparent roof panels love that you can kind of see up and let the light in and also use them for like if you want to take them off then you kind of get that open air experience but when you go over bumps, they just, they creak just a little bit. Big bumps though. So not necessarily bothersome, but just something I noticed. Now in terms of how much you'll be paying for this, I mean, 141 grand for this. And then if you want the bigger battery, that's gonna be starting, I think at 150. But you get something that is, especially with the Omega Edition, this Neptune blue matte paint, just something that turns heads that even behind the wheel you get just such a fantastic experience from the acceleration to the overall looks to just having a boss of an SUV and the fact that it's electric <laughs> people won't hear you coming but you definitely have a presence when they see this and the performance aspect is just, it's nuts.
But I want to give another thank you to Chevrolet Buick GMC of Murfreesboro because these are limited production and it was just nice of them to let me go ahead and test this out. Now, if you're looking for a Hummer EV, specifically an Omega edition in your area, definitely make sure you check out the link below, fill out your info, and then we can get those dealers fighting to give you the, the best price on one of these. Because these are, I believe, still going for over sticker price right now but it's also not the market that it used to be. So you have a little bit of wiggle room there depending on where you are. These are still sought after because the interest rates are high and for the average American, that's kind of affecting the car buying market. But if you have money to blow, which is basically how you're gonna be able to get one of these, those people are still buying vehicles. So just keep that in mind. And for the $24,000 markup, or I should say the option, for this Omega Edition, you're really getting it just because this thing is customized like no other Hummer is in terms of the badging, the paint, and all of that. But you pretty much get Escalade V performance in an electric vehicle and something that's much bigger than an Escalade V in terms of the stance. But I definitely, I love this I'm biased, I love EVs, but especially things like this that are just so much fun and are just so, it's just awesome. It just has an awesome feel to it behind the wheel. But with all that being said, this will bring me to the end of my review of this 2024 Hummer EV SUV Omega Edition.